In this video, we're going to show you how to configure an incident trigger alert. Go to the Add Incident Trigger button on the Home tab. The Add New Incident Trigger window will pop up. There are eight types of incident triggers. For example, monitoring started or ended processes and specific Windows events. In this example, you will create a stress level incident trigger for a specific metric. Click on Stress Level and Next. When a computer reaches high stress or above for 10 seconds, this trigger will fire. In order to make the trigger more specific, you can choose the counters you would like to monitor. You do this by clicking the Filter Editor button and adding a new item. In this example, we want it to be alerted when a specific server CPU counter is 90% or above. Therefore, we added a second counter to this incident trigger. In the next step, you can decide which folders to monitor and when, the scope and the schedule. Press OK. In the next screen, you can easily add a follow-up action, for example, receiving an email alert. Click OK and then Next. Lastly, name the trigger that you created and click Apply. This new trigger is shared with all controlled users within your organization.